Oh man. Had to stop it. Had to stop it. Breaking news, everybody out there. Come on, man. It's just time to go. We're going to go in. I know we're running a little bit too late, but thank you guys for being here. Comic Book Talk with friends. I'm your host, Leo Rockwell, for the One Six Scale Made YouTube channel. If you haven't already, hit that like button like it tells you to do right here. Subscribe. It better say you. Come on, man. Where you at? Where you at? Get this going. Come on, man. Where you at? Here you go. That's what I'm talking about. Hit that like button. Subscribe <laughs> if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification so you are always up to date to all the new comings and stuff, or comings and goings and stuff like that when it comes awesome. to videos, no all diddy. that stuff. Get yeah, no with Diddy. No diddy. <laughs> but take that, take that. <laughs> take that, take that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for being here, man. And um, yeah, let's just jump right on in. Let me bring up the guys, man. What's going on with y'all, man? How y'all doing? What up, what up chat? What up, what, up, what, up, what up, brothers in the panel? What's up, everybody? Take that. We're here. Oh, we're here. Take this that, is, that, this is gonna that. be all episode. That's that's, that's it. That's Sorry. it. Sorry. The, the y'all had a fed. Y'all, <laughs> y'all had a feds knocking on the door like yo, which is mm-hmm. somebody y'all y'all yeah. You know I mean, uh, we heard mentions of Diddy, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, there's some implications here. We know that. Um, yes, comic. We've heard that comic book comic comic book talk with friends has been sponsored uh, <laughs> under the table mm. by uh, Take That Records, <laughs> Take that <laughs> record. subdivision of the Bad Boy Records. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we ain't. <laughs> nah, we ain't. Sorry, nah. ain't got shit to do with that. Sorry. Nah. Nah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We 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 ain't on take that. that we that. definitely ain't on that. So definitely, nah. here we go, man. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what's going on with y'all, man? Vinny, what's going down with you, bro? Oh man, just a busy week. Just trying to get everything in, in order for. Uh, I got family coming up this weekend for uh, Easter. I did some uh, catching up on some art stuff. <laughs> uh, just did some uh, new uh, Doom prints, uh, Doom pictures. So. I got those up on my IG. Feel free to go check those out. They'll be coming to the store soon. So I had to do something for Dune on some uh, on some book pages. That was a lot of fun to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, I got some other art pieces that I've lined up before my next show in Philly in May. And uh, I'll be just like trying to knock those out. Um, I see we got Godzilla coming up uh, this week. And uh, that's mm-hmm. about it. Yeah. Just uh, Oh, yeah. I got into uh, I picked up Dragon's Dogma 2. And uh, I started diving into oh, yeah. that. Out, that was that's fun. So a lot of that's gonna be a, a time killer though. So I'm gonna, you know, yeah, I ain't that and, yeah, I'm I'm gonna just let that. I'm just chip away at that over the over the next few months. I'm not gonna try to like go yeah. go hard on it. So, but yeah, man. Other than that, looking forward to uh, digging into X Men, man. There's so so much to dig into with that. So Can't. Yeah, it, it's we're gonna get into it. Yeah, so definitely. Good. We definitely going to get into it. Uh, that's why I wanted to keep the uh, uh, segues kind of like uh, to a minimum as far as like what I had on here. Like I said, that's why I only kept it down to, like I said, the artist feature of Colleen Duran. And then on top of that, we're going to talk about book pick of the week, a um, couple book picks of the week. And then we're going to go right into uh, X-Men. Uh, and, and talk about that because definitely it's needed. And on top of that, I get my ass to bed because you know I me. Mean? I wake up at five in the morning, get that prayer and get that fast. So you already know what it is. But anyway, uh, what's going on with you, Jason? How you doing, man? Um, uh, let me ask you a question because you're down there in Florida right now, bro. Uh, Miami my, is hot. Miami yeah, is Miami hot. is hot right now, bro. You know what I mean? And yeah, you know I mean you did. He got them curls, bro. Nah, so. nah baby. Nah. <laughs> nah, my boy. Nah, nah, nah. They gonna be like, uh, uh, Jedi. Ain't nobody, uh, ain't nobody pimp. knocking here. Bro, nah, that's in Miami, nope. baby. I'm in Orlando now. <laughs> mm, I'm three hours Hell yeah, bro. You good, good, though? Yes, sir. I'm great, man. Hey, yo, so Vinny, Jay, it, 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 you know, he told me and Bert, Herberticus what the problem was. So last week he didn't have his, his well, he, he knocked out his uh his extender, like his, basically his booster in his crib in that oh. room. 
So that's why it wasn't, you know what I mean? I thought a, a gator must have bit the cable outside. <laughs> you know what I mean? Th- that or somebody on bath salts eating into your uh, antenna or satellite, nah, you know? That. You know what the cable company set me up with last month? They called for their money. Word. Bloomer, Bloomer. What's the, what's the company you gave me last month? And what's the NG? Uh, oh, uh, a Negro and, net? And, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got that Negro net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very, very <laughs> familiar with their services. Bro, no. Negro. That's the, it's the same type of internet where you got to open the window and, uh, and open yeah, the door. You got to let the, the Wi Fi in. The hangar Negro yep, let the, net. The hangar let the Wi Fi in. Wow. Nah, I was moving my arcade around, bro, and I unplugged the damn thing by mistake and didn't plug it back in. Didn't realize I didn't plug it back in. Still not. But I'm good now. <sighs> Well, if you got Negro Net taken care of, so they got Negro, you, bro. I paid them today. We good. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hope Bertie gets what's, what's going on with you, bro. If he, if he disappear again, that's definitely an internet. You know what it yeah, is. yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. Though. Um, yeah, man. Just started the uh, first day of a new job, so I had orientation Word. today. Congrats. There you go. Yep. Word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll be a program lead over at a. Uh, Elementary school doing their after school program. So I'm very excited. Abbott Elementary? Uh oh, we got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Abbott is his head Abbott. That's what I'm talking about. Well, what I will say, the saddest part that I heard today that they told me is that I can't play ball with the kids because the insurance oh. liability reasons. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you were, you were, <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, yeah, I was about to dunk on them. Did they bring that up on their own? It's like, hold up. No, no, no. I, I said, wait. No, I said, wait. no more. <laughs> it's a policy now. Somebody fucked it up. <laughs> nah, somebody. Yeah, somebody. Somebody, somebody down the line. Is, somebody dunked on some poor kid. Right, right. Broke his ankle. And, no, no more insurance. <laughs> Listen, my, my first job, they was like, oh, yeah, they play basketball. I was like, say no more. I came the next day. I had my my, uh, my rec league uniform. Boy, it's a wrap. Okay? I had it's the shorts. Wrap. I had the shorts. Yo, high. You didn't have, yo did you have the sh- I shit you not. I had the socks high. Jam- I gave, jam- I gave jam- them jam- 10, 10, and 10. <laughs> Yo, they seen you had your basketball shorts on. Yo, they seen he had his basketball shorts on underneath his bro. Right. They're right. like, oh no, 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 you no, not. No. <laughs> He's I'm, I'm, he out there I'm, dunking I'm, on I'm, elementary I'm, school I'm, students, bro. For real. When he drove by, they saw his Nike basketball bag in the trunk in the window. They saw it in the window. I said, no. Oh my god. Fadeaway jumper. Yo, you seen Lino? You seen Lino? Me? You never see dunk on me. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> you, know? you think about how can I reach these kids? Dunk on them. Don't, don't <laughs> them. Yo, that's not good, don't bro. Time. Don't go on. Don't call. Anyway, that's man, hilarious. thank don't y'all for me. being here. I'll be your again, my boy. Congrats. Thank you out there thank in the you, chat. Man. Congrats, bro. Thank all you guys out there in the chat. Let's go there. So first off, before I get to the chat, bro, I got to pay homage to the places where I get these figures from, man. Before I forget. Uh, do want to give a shout out to my man Ray over there at Underground Figures. And okay, he's just that guy, he's always that guy, reasonably priced when it comes to shipping and handling. If you ain't got it, he'll get it for you. Um, definitely he responds in such a quick manner. You'll get that figure in one to two days because he's just that quick, sometimes three days, just depending. Um, but yes, yeah, full transparency. You hit him up, he'll respond, and within a couple of hours, like maybe an hour, within sometimes within 15 minutes, he's just that quick. You hit him up, tell him that Leo sent you, and he'll definitely take take care of you because he's good like that. Shout out to my man Ray all day. Also, want to give a special shout out to my man Ray over there at Hawk Boys Toys. He's going to have a brick and mortar soon. But if you're looking for them grail pieces, he got it for you. Also, a comic book and a stick of the boot. Source material as always. Give him a shout out. Tell Ray that you guys sent you. Also, I want to give another shout out to my man Watch Your Sixth over there at Comic Relief Comic Collectibles. Uh, one Tim Scale, one six, one twelve. Uh, comic books, everything that you're basically looking for, he got it for you. So definitely want to give a special shout out to him as we do all day, every day, man. So definitely want to give those guys a shout out because they are doing the most and they are killing it as they do it. Uh, do let me let me go in here and just say what up to the chat real quick. We got my man Malik and Bane in the building. He says salutations. What's going on with you guys? Thank you so much. Also, we got a five dollar bomb. He said peace and love to the fellow comic book heads around the world. 
Shout out to you, my man. Thank you so much, <clears throat> definitely, for being here. We got Tijuana Mike, a.k.a. King Churro in the building. What up? Let's chop it up. You already know what it is. X-Men 97, 100%. That's what we're going to be talking about here. We got my baby in the building. No mercy. <laughs> she talking you about already know, mama. Good. Fade <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> away. Good. Come no. around. You got to teach them, man. You got to teach them, man. No Look, mercy. Boy. <laughs> we got the ill Yankee hell chat to me, my fellow ex heads. That's what I'm talking about. Let's uh, go. Uh, we got my man Christopher Carrillo. Kendrick started that real life rap civil war, and Diddy is in his own comic. When things go wrong, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's gonna be crazy, bro. Yes. We it's got Chuck. Right it's about to bad. get real. We got Chuck G in the building. What's going on with you, my guy? We got Rince Talentino in the building. What's going on with you, brethren? Thank you for being here, my man. I'm going to call him Mr. Chicken from now on. We got a low-key collector in the building. Thank you for being here, my guy. What's going on, y'all? So good to have you here. As always, Blazing Asian in the building. Uh, who else did we got out there with us? Amber May is in the building. Thank you for being here, Amber. Amen. We got my man, Benny uh, Gregerson in the building. Thank you for being here. Hello from Sweden. Thank you, man. I'm so glad oh, you actually up? tuned Shout in. Out to Sweden. What up, Sweden? Shout out to Sweden all day. That's what's up. I got to get over there, man. This man yeah, around the world. Got to get over there. Y'all like waffles out. out there, man? Yeah. <laughs> we got what Jeffrey in the building. What's up? What's up with you, my man? What's going on with you, bro? Uh, we got lyrics to the soul, aka Lisa McDonald. Oh, want to give a shout out to Lisa because I got her pictures and she I sent them to me. Mine. Hold up. You know what? Let me let me let me go up you here. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah, let me go grab them real quick. Hold she, up, hold on, hold on. She gave me yeah, mine say, too. I'll send you uh Lisa. If you need a pic if you can put them up, cool. If not, I got a picture I can send you. Lisa. Lisa, everybody go. Everybody went like an Easter egg hunt to go find her pictures. First and foremost, she gave, I'm not sure if you guys got this one. Maybe it was more specific to me, but I got, um, yeah, I, still, I think she, I think she mixed it up. I got yeah. the, um, I got the, uh, scream one and, uh, the winter soldier and, um, a third one. I got the, whatchamacallit. That's dope, bro. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, that's dope. I like that. I'm bringing it over. I can't even find her, uh. Right yeah. Spider Punk is fire. She killed. I uh, stop. <sighs> you already know. I'm like, Dang. I'm waiting for the tube. He sent me one. With, oh, I got, I got a bigger one coming in the tube, bro. I can't wait. I got the Fifth Element, John. With my mm -hmm. boy down there in the corner. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. She gave me that one too. And it, that, that's. The, and I got the uh, bro. Yeah. This yeah, why is, uh, this don't even feel like this feels like a more like a cultural piece, right? This piece right yeah. here, bro, yeah. is definitely so cultural. Wrong. Yep, like, and then yeah. and magnets too, which is so dope. Yeah, and then yeah. she sent me this one with the yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll settle for this one because we I ain't getting the damn figure. Yeah, exactly. so I got the Catwoman. What exactly. else did we actually get here? I got this Matrix. matrix you got the Matrix one? Mm -hmm. Yep, me yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, this one right yep. here. I love this one. This joint's cool. That's yeah, smart. Got that one right there. The Matrix one. You get the Bucky. Time. Yeah, definitely. Nah, shout out. I got these yeah, yeah. Two, bro. I yeah, I got the Bucky. I definitely got the Bucky Winter Soldier. Mm -hmm. This John, I got a yeah. Who's the print? Love that. So definitely own. shout out. And Thank you for her, that, Lisa. Yeah, and I sent her uh, Chadwick and then the Shuri, which she threw up on on Facebook on and wore her wall. So honored to have a piece of your house. Honored to have a piece of yours and mine. Word. Did you? Did definitely. you? Did, did you? Yeah, that's that's the stamp. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the postage. It's on the postage. <laughs> There's a um there's a there's a cardboard cut it. I'm sending out the way to put underneath the two. <laughs> just like this. cut it just hold yeah, it. Just, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Shout out to Lisa. Thank you so much for sending out great Just pieces. I love when the community sends out some pieces, man. Oh, yeah. Love it, man, as always. So definitely shout out to you. Who else we got in here? Force is in the building. Nice. What's going on with you, my guy? Everybody is in attendance. We are gonna actually go ahead and talk about a couple of things here, man. Because now first we're gonna start with the artist feature now the artist feature of the week um don't know if you know who colleen duran is uh definitely um she is an artist that has such a keen like her style and just the way she her eye in general is on point um just some of the stuff that you know she introduces and some of the work that she does uh wanted to start out with her colleen um 
is definitely um she does a lot for uh not only not only like i said she did a lot of prints like really imaginary prints for like salmon um also for batgirl it's a couple pieces that she's done that's been incredible um this right here which is amongst my favorite like this is crazy oh, yeah, bro batwoman. Mm -hmm. batwoman. yeah batwoman. but the batwoman is this yeah. is the batwoman she is crazy that. bro she yeah, definitely she killed, killed this print <laughs> Um, such imagine it, and i love just the simple fact that it's highlighted very vibrant but it also mm -hmm. is like a dream state mm -hmm. almost you know i love that bro i love i love yeah bro definitely love that man yeah, um cool. you know also she even did like a um an illustration for uh jessica jones for netflix um mm -hmm. before it even drops like this piece right here was done uh so definitely like that um I just love seeing that there's people out there who even like look at this. Here, here's the, like check this one out. This Batman, bro. This yeah. is incredible. Definitely, you know, it, it reminds me of like. Um, I mean, this is gonna be very very specific, but if you know the art, you know the art. And it's like Vinny. It's like the like World War Two like pastel, yeah, like propaganda oh. yeah. pinup yeah. girls. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> That's, that's what she's for. That's what I see. Yeah. That's yeah. her style. That's her whole style, though, for everything. Pretty like, much. her whole style is, like, because you can see it in, in so, like, for instance, even I'll, I'll show you this one right here um, <clears throat> that she did. Um, well, it's, well, hold on. I got to show that. I got to bring it back here. Uh, hold on here. I was looking for it. I love this print. Uh, the Rat Queens. I don't know if you have ever actually read that book. Um, but she did this particular illustration as well. I love what she did, and it's like very like, yeah, bro. Like I love her style. I just yeah. I love again, like it's innovative, but it's very artsy. It's it's like the everyday person, but really imaginative, and I love it. I love yeah. just basically how it is. Um, and you know, she's done a lot. You know, just you know, even like not even just for uh 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 dc and marvel she's done st uh stuff for image as well <laughs> mm -hmm. um <clears throat> she's been out there for a minute are you familiar with her work Vinny? uh when i seen that she was artist of the week i i wasn't familiar with her and i, I looked it up expecting to see like oh i'm sure i know who this is just don't know who it is and i was surprised i i wasn't really too familiar with her with her stuff but it um i was glad i got put onto it because there was a lot of strong strong composition there and i i felt like to um uh, obitica's point like she has a very strong like it feels like a graphic arts background mm -hmm. it looks like she definitely has like uh like her strengths is definitely composition and just uh you know the way she puts pieces together it's almost like uh <clears throat> almost like de definitely very like um print or poster like driven stuff so i, mm -hmm. I definitely love like a lot of stuff that I was seeing was very strong composition and, and, you know, arrangement. And I was, I was like, I was impressed. There's some like really strong stuff out there. I'm looking forward to picking up some of her stuff and checking it out in person. Yeah, definitely. I know her from the Batwoman, the Batwoman series. Books that she did for Batwoman. Okay. Mm -hmm. so her style mm -hmm. was like very graphic novel. Yeah. Illustration or like, like Glimmer was saying, like that 1930s, 40s, like um pinup girl type. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's she's definitely um I need one it. that has a style that and and just and just stay with it, man. Like like I love that that deep uh her, her deep depiction of faces and the way she draws bodies and everything, man. Everything is really really look at look at her granny goodness, bro. <clears throat> Come on, yeah, bro. like I haven't seen nothing like that since the freaking cartoon man mm-hmm mm -hmm. very dope like yeah, very yeah. and her style mm -hmm. her style varies too which mm -hmm. I, I like to do too so i definitely respect that because i don't like sticking to always sticking to like one particular style like mm -hmm. like you could like on, <clears throat> you just put up like four or five different pieces that could have been from different people is that same yeah. man that's same yeah man, right? mm -hmm. yeah, mm-hmm mm -hmm. but this right here bro i mean this whoo she love this, bro. For a while, man. They, they're back yeah. For a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have that one. Mm -hmm. Definitely, bro. Definitely some dope pieces. I, I, I didn't even know it was her that did that. It's crazy. Yeah, like you, you'd be surprised, like some of the stuff that she's actually had her hands on. Yeah, but then yeah, again, yeah. 
it's just the imagination and just how she does it. Um, yeah. She's truly, truly, definitely like an incredible artist, bro. Um, you know, a lot of her illustrations, especially for Sandman, bro, like is incredible. Um, like this piece right here um, that she actually did. That's great. Um, <clears throat> Again, like, I mean, she's her work is definitely and her work ethic is out there. You can see a lot of her pieces, you know, a few of her pieces that are out there um, that you could probably get your hands on. But, um, yeah, Women's it's History like Month. One, like the photograph, like a photograph. She took yeah, bro. And yeah, white. bro. That's and crazy. she did a lot of work for American Gods as well. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, again, a lot of illustration there. So shout out to Colleen Duran. Um, definitely a phenomenal artist. Um, you know, um, again, you, you might, a lot of people might have like a few of her pieces mm -hmm. don't really know it, but it's definitely out there like that, man. Um, mm -hmm. so, yep. Just wanted to kind of give her a shout out. Um, and we'll definitely like, this is just kind of rounded out the, um, um, women's history month and what we yeah. got going on there, man. So, Yeah. Um, now I want to actually move on to the pick, one of my picks of the week. Now I know, Bertie, because you want we're gonna talk, I'm gonna talk to you in a minute because, like I said, that book is on fire. But listen, right now, if y'all ain't reading this, if I, I don't know if you're if you're reading it or if you're not reading it, but yo, the the resurrection of Magneto run is phenomenal. Oh, yeah, this go. last book, boy. I'm, without anything, is when you haven't read it yet, right? Uh, I it's on my pulls. I'll, I'm getting to it though for sure. Yeah, so it, yeah, it's definitely because you know what actually happened to him, you know, during the X Men versus Avengers versus um, the Eternals, right? So that the whole axe, um, yep. you know, so you already know basically what happened to him. Then, of course, um, you know, he held his together, his self together. Like I'm, this, this right here speaks volumes for him. Uh, as just mainly a character, when I see when I always pull this up, uh, right here, heart pulled completely out of him, but he held himself together mm. with the magnesium in his blood to keep himself alive. Ain't that crazy? You know what I mean? But this is right before he basically died, he got his heart pulled out by Uranus. Uh, but <clears throat> again, this whole thing, this whole run right now is the resurrection of Magneto, but. The way it's done, and I don't want to, like I said, give too much away. You might want to, you definitely got to read it. Uh, but Storm is heavily involved in that, um, you know, as basically she's the one who's guiding us through that whole journey. But man, this last book was so impactful because, again, like I said, we're, and I wonder, and, and this is like me not even knowing because I don't even know. I'm just wondering if we're going to see a scaled up Magneto when it comes to his power, his power set. Because he's already I, an Omega level mutant, but yeah, yeah. It, are I we going to see like that scale up with him, bro? I think he don't get enough love, man. Well, like that, Magneto finally is getting to do a feat like this. They're yeah. finally coming around <laughs> and giving him his props, man. I think him and Scott are the most two most underrated <laughs> mutants that there are, man. And well, in the X Men books, period. And to see him being able to hold himself together with no heart beating in his chest mm -hmm. that is crazy that is yeah. crazy. so yeah i hope we get him on that level of of, of Mag no, what magneto should be on man not not dialed down not pampered down give us a real magneto bro. that's yeah. usually the way it goes when when somebody comes back from death or near death it's mm -hmm. usually a, a power jump at least mm -hmm. a temporary you know what i mean wolverine yeah. with the fire claws etc cetera, etc cetera. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah definitely it's, it's it's definitely a good run if you haven't read it pick it up make sure that you definitely do uh because it is so dope um it is such a a, a good read and it's just good to see you know magneto back you know what i mean yeah, in rare form so. i'm so glad to actually see that mm -hmm. also hubertus i know that you're basically reading again which i told you i've been telling people about this before uh which is the ultimate version of black panther um, yeah, I'm, I I'm behind. I don't think I had the. I, I don't think I was that. on the pull list when it first dropped. So I'm gonna have to get um, like the what second print on now? of the first one. But I should be on it now. I think so it's on number three, or three. It's, it's number three heading to three. number four. So yeah. I got a chance to get all. Okay, I can get all three tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> now the power of the Black Panther will now be stripped away. 
<laughs> I never freeze. Yeah, it's it's so it's so daggone dope. Definitely two books that y'all have to read and pick yeah, up no because it's worth reading. And that whole like it's, again, the whole Ultimates run right now, bro, is phenomenal. It is. Mm. It is phenomenal. It's such phenomenal. a good read. Phenomenal. I it is. you know, I, I, I gotta dive a little bit more into the X-Men side. I know there's a few more that uh there's uh the ultimates is coming later on in June -ish? in the summer. We'll get the we'll get the ultimates, the actual overarching mm -hmm. line to all of this. But man, Black Panther, ultimate Black Panther number one. Mm-hmm. They they did some really interesting things. I love the the overall. I don't want to give too much away, but yeah, I love I how T'Challa really is, uh, you know, characterized here. He's like a kind of like no nonsense, no bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah. but he's conflicted. He's got the heart still, still T'Challa. Mm -hmm. He's conflicted, but you you can tell by some of his past, it's got him kind of like like nah fuck that like this is how we're doing things yeah um, okay he isn't sure where that's the the wakandan extremist if you will right. in a lot of the comics it, prior she's the wakandan extremist right, alongside right. of um killmonger mm -hmm. and speaking of he's got a, a new look in this one yeah you can and, tell uh, bro well, yeah, what was, bro is he is he like asgardian what is he we'll, we'll We'll hold talk on, about on, it. Wait, we'll we'll talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll, 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 talk. we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll oh, talk. We're yeah. gonna talk. Are really going out there on the they, 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 bro, bro, they going crazy. They, they going in. Okay, Hickman okay. is not playing, bro. He's he is, not. He okay. is not playing, bro. He's and you can tell that he's really fond of what he's doing right now. Like mm -hmm. he is really he's, super duper fond of what he's doing. Right he can just like it's sadly like in our comic book characters like that we care about. He's just like, man, I can just fuck with this dude's life. I can fuck with this guy's life. Wow. I can fuck with his legacy. I can fuck his legacy. It's like nothing's off the table here. It's just like we're in a we're in a place where we're uncomfortable, but we actually enjoy the 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 lack of comfort, mm -hmm. and we're that's just the, here that's for the, the ride. The beauty of the ultimate line is why it works so well the first time around, and. Yeah. I mean, it, it's part of what is missing from like regular continuity. It's just, it's, it, there's just so many rules. There's so mm -hmm. much that you can't do. Otherwise, it has to worry about screwing it up. And with Ultimates, it's just like, there's, yeah, I don't even just want to do touch whatever you want ASM. To. I don't want to yeah. touch ASM nowadays. I, I, I'd rather just do this and then go to the other legacy stuff. But like yeah. right now, ASM is just so much shit going on, yeah. and they, they just turned I mean, Mary Jane into jackpot. It's just like, what the fuck's happening? Yeah. Especially when you have like eighteen different Spider Man. It's like, yeah. How about how about do maybe two and then put strong, talented teams on those two? But it's so watered down. There's just so many. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With, this, with this ultimate Spider-Man, man, this is like a whole next. This blew me away after the first book. Man. Next yeah. level. This, yeah. I mean, Uncle it is. Man, it's is that I Whoa. I would have never what? thought that anybody could be <laughs> could be possibly talented enough to write yeah. the way that they wrote the way that Peter got his powers. Right. Yeah. Again. Again. Yeah. Again. Yeah. I'm like, whoa! Yeah. This is like. Yeah. That took some create. Activity, something definitely like creativity, that, bro. that so lacks like, bro. in other mediums like yeah. they're doing it man right but even with the big bad trying to stop him from getting his powers it's like with the way they wrote it like you can't stop destiny right but if you change it if you change your path one way or another destiny is still come right back around hit you in your face so right which, is, which makes powers, it such an interesting plot yeah, device bro. in the first place because i mean how many different stories have we seen where yeah. You try to alter time, and then just it wound up That's happening right. anyway. Like right. Mm -hmm. so, so for and then have that many people with it's, it's a really huge scale story because right. there's literally hundreds, if not thousands, of of super powered beings in Marvel for him to have mm -hmm. tried to alter. Yep, so many different and, forces. and that person, and there's so many different. In... Ahead, there's I'm so sorry. many different people where their their powers aren't based on a singular incident like Spider-Man, where it was always going right. to, to happen. Like, right. there's a lot of people who, you know, like, just 
mutants in general, just like mutants. they were going, always going to happen, you know, no matter what, Regardless. it's, it's going right, to come right. out. So that, or, or people who are aliens, like you're not going to uh, change, uh, you know, where they came from. Yeah. You're not going to change hey. there being a, a, a Galactus or whatever. He, he's an alien. How do you, there's no singular event to change what, mm-hmm. you know, who Thanos is, et cetera, et cetera. So mm-hmm. it, it's, it's a really interesting concept. And uh, I'm loving, I'm loving the applications because it's so right. It's so gloves off. You can just do whatever and without worrying about it. And then, you know, I'm gonna enjoy it while we can because we'll get, you know, one to five years of it, and then they'll figure mm-hmm. out who they like and bring them into Marvel like they always do. Mm-hmm. It's like you know, to me, I know it sounds corny, but it's like that Ultimate Spider-Man, bro. Is like the pillar right now. I think of that whole new universe bro the way they well, wrote it to me I, well i, I think it's there's, down, I, but I'm here's the thing though it's not it's not only just spider-man though but to be honest because you would have thought that and they mm-hmm. basically started with that run first you would have yeah. thought that but basically once you start reading Everybody. everybody's, everybody's right. story bro it's yeah, like yeah. oh okay okay now 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 i, I see wait. what you're ba- there's yeah. there's the whole citizen from hell's kitchen who's his whole occupational uh, trajectory has been changed. Yeah, yeah. He's wow. a community mouthpiece. Nah, you know that's I mean? the that is the most fucked up and funny part because of all the people whose lives are changed and different, that motherfucker's still blind. Bro, that's, that's so wrong, yo. Bro. It was the incident that made him blind. Also, gave him his powers. How are you gonna make a powers. blind but with no powers? This is dirty. So he, so it's like you're saying he had yo. the accident, but the the. <laughs> It was different materials, you know. Well, he, he was yeah. destined to be blind, like that's yeah. that's messed up. He got, yeah, that's, that's just so messed, messed up, up, yo. That's well, like I, that's like Barry I'd getting have that than him being destined like his father. That's I'll like, tell, like Barry say, getting true, struck true, by true. lightning, but no flash powers. You just dead, like yeah. you just got. You know what I mean? That's just wrong. Well, it's, what it's was even worse though. when when it was an Ultimate Iron Man uh, made him see for a little while that it wore off, that it wore off. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely though. But go out there, pick this up if you haven't already. Basically read, um, or if you're reading uh, Resurrection of Magneto, you want to actually pick this up as well as um, the Ultimate Black Panther, Ultimate Spider Man, that um, even Ultimate X Men that's actually okay, just reads with uh, Peace yep. Momoko. Uh, that book is pretty decent. You know what I mean? The storyline itself, it's a it's a bit of a darker twist on armor herself. Uh, but again, I love it. Yeah. Um, I love where that book is going. So definitely that book pick- kind of covers some things that you yeah. know, some things that are very mature mm-hmm. uh and very deep uh mm-hmm. for for a, quite a few a lot of people out there. It's like so. a, it's 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 like therapy for this character because of her past. Right. And that's the crazy part. So it it's it's the way it's done. Like and confrontation kind of, of trauma and trying to yeah, overcome that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So definitely it is. It's a little mixture there, but it's pretty good. So, and I think that there's one particular character that they're trying to bring back in a big way. <laughs> and it's crazy if we see it. But anyway, uh, definitely shout out. Go out there, pick these books up because they're incredible. Moving on, though. Moving on, though. Moving on, though. We had, we had last week, man, we had both episode one and two of x-men 97 drop um and i don't think that everybody realized and none of us anticipated how good it was really going to be i mean i knew it was good but i didn't and you know and it's the w i thought this was gonna be like okay i'm people some people gonna like it yeah 2024 ass fucking tv show like it's gonna be a lot of people that like it and there's gonna be a lot of fucking people that hate it i was on the fence I Bro, was scared. I was scared. W, I mm-hmm. don't fucking give a shit what yeah. anybody got to say about episode three. Yeah. Bro, W. <laughs> now, here's the thing, and I want to address this right up the top before we even get into like how spectacular this is. Because, how would you know it was dope and we know it was dope, but then you're going to always have that group. You oh, always oh, have man. that group. Oh. And they can't always talk about bro. you Don't can't. You them. always about, have the group morph, about yeah, about right. Morph. So here's the thing: if you're talking about basically they've gone woke, this, that, and the third. Listen, that's this is how, how X Men have comics. always been from day one from the comics. So that doesn't change the narrative. They're not changing the narrative at all. So just want to address that. This shit I, is dope as fuck. The way they basically and the way they have hit these books as soon yeah. yo. 
I'm sorry. As soon as I saw, as soon as I saw Jean Grey <laughs> pregnant, I was like, that ain't her. <laughs> nope. Bro, that ain't her. You, know, you know what's funny? That ain't her. Is, nope. uh, you, you, you said that, and I was watching it again. Well, I was, yeah, I was re watching it with Mafia, uh -huh. and he was like, no, nah, that's Madeline Pryor. Yep. I was Madeline like, no, that's, that's Jean Grey. And nope, I was completely Pryor. Up. But he was like, no, that bro, that's that's not her. That's, that's not Pryor. her. Yep. And then the, and then we got to that part. He was like, yeah, I don't fucking know it. They do. Um, Bro, they because the thing is, guard, but, I'm like, Damn, but they were that? telling you the entire time, bro. They were telling you who she was the entire time from the dream, like the nightmare itself. Oh, but yeah, then also yeah. because she wanted to leave so bad. She wanted to get yeah. Scott away from there so bad. Yeah. It is almost hand over fist what we actually got from the books with a bit, books. bit of tweaking. Yeah. It was there, bro. We got a chance yeah. to see <laughs> Magneto in, in, in rogue cheeks. But bro, yeah, I'm saying crazy. It, bro, that, bro. that was crazy. The, the, gene, the gene shit, though, before we move on to Matt, that was dope for Wolverine because I'd have just been like, I see this as a win one for you, one for me. Right. You, can yeah. keep, <laughs> you, you can keep, you know, you can keep the pregnant Jenny. one. Yeah, you can keep the pregnant one. Yep. I'm good over here. Look, look, this song, special delivery. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Oh, bro. bro, I know he was in the background, <laughs> like. <laughs> Yes, that's that's just what the yes. doctor ordered. Well, bro, I know he was in the background. Yes. Yes. Why? Yes. DoorDash. Nah, yes. bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. Everything that we I mean <laughs> from just the battle that and, and on top of that, let's let's not gloss over the simple fact that finally. Finally, Scott Summers got his just due. Bro. I knew he was going got to say that. busy. Got I knew he was say that. busy, bro. I knew like, he was bro, you're seeing like him I use his his it. optic blast in when ways landed, that we have never landed, seen it. When he landed, bro, on the ground, dog. I, I feel like this the the right. This was the first writer who ever worked on an X Men project who knew what Cyclops' powers actually were. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because, bro, he, he was had read a comic. Bro, yeah. even in the fight. He was using his concussive blast to kind of help dodge. Yeah, like yeah. you would, he would use it, move this way, yeah. move yeah. that way, yeah. bro. Yeah, like it's a slot for momentum, and shit was yeah. crazy. What's going on, Johnny? Yo, yo, What's yo, going yo. on with you, brother? Pause. This is Johnny, yo, aka yo. Captain Pause, is in yeah. the building, bro. That's, that's so, Pause Patrol. Well, um, you know that that no longer exists. It's a uh, it's a uh, no Diddy now. No so Diddy. Like, no Diddy. Yeah, we got to diversify. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We pause for like a, a decade plus, man. It's time. Hell yeah. We gotta we gotta evolve like the X-Men here. Come on, keep, <laughs> keep it moving. We got Lumi in the building. What's going on, Lumi? Man? Up, yeah. How you doing? How you doing? So bro, definitely, we man. Cannot like forget, we cannot forget Storm, dog. Oh, we, bro. We're gonna get there, bro. Oh, but we the, getting the, there. we're still trying to get over we, the trauma. We we, oh, we 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 gonna get there, bro, because no. that's just again, we 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 gonna get to that spot. You know, you got a chance to see Morph get busy. So basically, they didn't yeah. hold back on him. Um, again, I just love the way the characters have been poor, 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 poor uh, Gambit, bro. Sorry, Remy. Yeah, um, I feel bad for the boy. You know, I mean, poor a little bit out for Remy, bro. That's messed uh, up, dog. It's like messed up, bro. Like, come on, man. Can you catch even a break? With a, even with all them but, years. bro, the highlight. Now, here's the thing. Like, bro, when, 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 when Cyclops was like, bro, they ain't. But when Cyclops was hey, like a a storm, give him the give him the forecast, bro. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. and, then, <laughs> and then you heard like it was way. like a the echo in the voice, the goddess style. Yeah, and then bro. you hear the sentinel say Omega type. Yo, they've never, no one's yeah. ever mentioned Omega, Omega level, level in a in, Omega a, level. in a show nope. or movie or anything. No, nope. and here nope. she come, turn the sand into glass into and glass. cause a tornado with the glass. Yo, bro. and bro. and here I am, like, okay, thank you. This bitch isn't just shooting lightning bolts out of her hands like Emperor Palpatine. Right. She controls the weather of the no world. Weather. Like, yeah, thank bro. you. Period. Yeah, thank yeah, you, bro. Thank you. Like, no. thank you. you know what happens this... to a toad when it gets struck by lightning? No, oh, this ain't that no, storm. No, this, ain't that... Right. this ain't that storm. <laughs> this ain't that storm. Bring that up. Oh, this ain't that storm. Like that. That's dirty, bro. That's dirty. <laughs> y'all was that. talking shit. My boy <laughs> came out. He want to say something to y'all. Y'all stop talking shit. Give me all this. Don't do him like that, bro. Don't do him like that. Yeah, bro. Get up my way in there doing that bro. foul ass shit. That's you foul. Cool. Bro, cool. like <laughs> that. That storm scene, bro. 
with the, with the OG voice and everything. Yeah. Bro. Yep. That storm yeah. scene. Was it was phenomenal, everything. bro. It it it, it was Jesus phenomenal, walking bro. Walking on the sand, that shit is turning to glass as soon as he touched it. As soon as he touched it, bro. As soon as he touched bro. it, bro. Like, yo. Bro, the stuff they had her doing in Listen, this show was phenomenal, bro. We and have to get a Mohawk Storm figure with the long hair too. I'm on two heads, go. Bro, bro, and and your boy Magneto giving an Academy Award speech. Dog. Twice. I love the yeah. fact they still got all the drama speeches and talking from the nineties. Yep. Mm -hmm. To now, it's so funny, bro. They still so dramatic and so bro. all the speeches. <laughs> Oh my god, bro! It, it, you would get Omega Eleven threat detected. Yup, hell yeah, oh, bro! So, hell so yeah! Far. So Hopefully, yo, Marvel gets the point and people love mutants. Bring on the live action and make it true to the comics. Definitely, I hope they do. I want to get to that when we're when we're done talking about this. But they're not going to watch any so, read any comments or watching any TV. About it. Cyclops out the plane. Like I got this, With the and then using the blast to slow himself down. Because think about it, just oh, the, why did the blast show that? The application of that could have never he been did. done by any of the writers before because nope. they would have just thought it would just go through the earth and he wouldn't right. slow down. This is somebody who actually understands what his powers and applications of those powers mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. and, and then to land and do that, like I'm sorry. That to me, my X Men after he lands and then just them forming so up behind good. him, I was out my seat. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, all yep. right, I'm in. I'll, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Yo, and I've never been more glad that I don't watch trailers than in that first episode because I'm just right. like, this is all new to me. This is all incredible. I don't know how much of this shit they already shown, but yeah. the animation style was fire. The writing, just yeah. to juggle, just to juggle all these characters. Morpher's dope because anybody yeah. they want to use but don't want to have to dedicate a whole story to, they can yeah. just throw him in they there. Can with, throw him in, bro. They, like they yeah. don't have a story right now for Angel. Throw him in there just to have a, a part of yeah. the fight. It's yeah. so it's so well done. Yeah. And oh my god, like they just the, the you, see, you saw Psylocke, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Psylocke That's my girl. So when they see, they threw Psylocke, and I was like, okay, bro. for now. But I yeah. need to see her get her ass on I need, eventually I need, soon. I, need how, how, I wonder how people I need are feeling about uh, Jubilee. How are people feeling about her? You know, Actually, I like Jubilee in this. She's the new add-on for this series. Yeah, right? she, yeah you know? she's still dope. She's still yeah, dope. she's definitely still. And and I like the simple fact that they started with Robert DaCosta, bro. Like I was like, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a good start, especially references to what's yeah. going on, brother. Storm of the Capitol. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> on the nose, bro. Yeah. That was on the nose. And yeah. it was but the thing is, it wasn't forced. It no, wasn't no. forced. When no. people started talking the the I felt yeah. like it was uh I mean, you had to like really be sitting there like, oh, let's see if they do anything Taking because I didn't feel like it would they were beating you over the head with with like political shit. It just yeah. was the average. If you're an X-Men fan, it was the average shit you typically see with the X-Men. It didn't feel like X-Men with political shit ramped up mm -hmm. it was just mm -hmm. typical x-men shit so mm -hmm. it was and the emphasis was on the action anyways oh, yeah. i don't i feel like it was perfect balance between making sure everybody got you know their moves off and shit and then story two so it was like extremely well done Bro. for just with cyclops and the fact that... <sighs> hmm. and he pulled his visor <laughs> yo with cyclops took off his Took off the visor and the factor and blew the whole shit up, bro. And you saw the newspaper, the Daily Bugle. Yeah. Dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So dope, man. So many different references, did, bro. Did, did you, yeah. you see your boy and Peter Parker there? Yeah, you, you saw that? Yeah. Yeah. And Eddie, and, yeah. Or, yeah. My Eddie Brock, too. Eddie Brock's name was on there, too. Yeah. Oh, I did not catch that. Yeah, yeah. Fuck him. And then as soon as they had, as soon as they had this, as soon as they had this, this drip on, I was like, okay. Charlie Listen, Magneto. I, as soon as I seen it, I was just like, they did the, they did the outfit. They knew they were gonna catch shit from people who had no idea that it was something he actually right wore, the outfit, and they right. still just did it anyways because this isn't for like fair. This is this isn't just for casuals like so much right. X Men shit is. This is for fans first. Casuals jump on board. But yeah. they, this, they, they, they the show was catching shit from more too. I'm like, bro, y'all you haven't read a comic, dog. No, none of these more, people have. Dog, this is more from the books. Oh, Bro. He, so he's Not, this and that. He's this and that. Like, come on, dog. Like, stop, stop, stop. Bro, I, 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 bro. When when that happened, I was like, yo, I, I don't care yeah, I what it, you bro. say. Yeah, I, I, I can care less what you think. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was dope. Mm -hmm. it, it was all around, basically dope. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, bro, the the landing, like Vinny was talking about, that landing, bro, was so solid. Yeah. Uh, with with bro, let me pull this up real quick because I, I got to take a look at it. Like it's it's, oh uh, come on, come on, man, don't play me, don't play with me. Where is it at? Where is it at? The landing, like just the whole, you know, Cyclops landing out of the plane, yeah. uh, was was super dope. The the conversation, uh, that they had, and even even Lumi, I know you're in here, and I know you're upset, Uh-oh. but I'm telling you, it's going to be okay. Everything is going to be all right. The uh-huh. whole, you know, with Storm losing her powers, and when she said, right. "I can't fin, I can't feel the air, I can't feel the wind, yeah, the breeze." We'll get it back. Bro, it yeah, was so it, she's definitely gonna get it back. Um, mm-hmm. she's definitely gonna get that back. But mm-hmm. here's was... my thing, bro. And this is what I'm wondering. Mm-hmm. How's this guy feeling right now, bro? Like, how Whoa. is he feeling? And on top of that, because it's such a success, what they gonna do now? Yeah, because here's the thing. Uh what did you do that was so bad that right before, like a week before this dropped. Mm-hmm. You, they just throw you at, throw you under the you, bus. You now, the and I, I keep hearing different things like uh, a that he got in trouble for yelling and being like a horrible person to his staff. Mm-hmm. That he got in trouble for, uh, you know, talking shit to fans mm-hmm. and, and being like, you know, abrasive and aggressive and all that. I heard he got in trouble for OnlyFans, but I also heard that the OnlyFans isn't really like wasn't really the issue. It was just mm-hmm. like. The stuff he was doing on the OnlyFans, it wasn't like uh, it, it wasn't like a, a sexual thing. It was like mm-hmm. that was more of like a promotional thing, and that he was arguing with people and saying things on OnlyFans. Oh, okay. It wasn't like what he was showing. Okay, because you know it's not like a hey, he was you know had an OnlyFans. That's why it was like he was saying mm-hmm. derogatory shit about people through his OnlyFans, and that still mm-hmm. represents. So it still represents him like uh, Disney. If he's Disney, saying stuff yeah. on any platform yeah. that he has to be careful what he says, no matter where he's saying it. I know. On. He's stuff in the ass now about this guy. But clear here. But here's this is a, always an interesting thing to me. And you go from Vince McMahon to, you know, him to many, many other like the wine size, many, many other successful people have often, you know, turned out to be not the greatest people, but yet something about who they are as a person has like this ability to get a lot out of people and be successful. And it it does seem like oftentimes that just comes with like uh, the downside of that is you, it's kind of like Jordan was an asshole in real life to people, but he got the best out of everybody. Kobe, Everybody says he was a jerk. He, you know, he would cuss your ass out if you weren't at practice early, all that shit. Oh. And like, if you weren't Kobe, you would just be an asshole because you were Kobe. It was okay. So mm-hmm. here's somebody who probably was hard on all the animators, hard on all the writers, cussed everybody out. And, and then he got the best thing he could get out of all them. And then when they got what they needed out of him, they were like, oh, remember when you was, you know, remember when you made Diane cry? <laughs> you got to go. That's fucked up, man. Cause, uh, yeah, like, what now? Cause they, he did two seasons, right? So even next season is his. Yeah. Well, so, well, they, well, put it this way. So I don't know if they even gone in production for next season yet, but I know he said he finished it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. again, it it's it, that's hmm. the, the the crazy part is when you have a showrunner and that like, comes in writer showrunner who comes in and nails it. Yeah. What do you do? Because yeah, this is really getting tough. rave reviews, bro. It's getting it's rave reviews from everybody. Yeah. So where do you go? Like it's kind of like yo. Imagine if all the Joss Whedon shit came out right after Avengers one. What oh, would you do? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. a lot. It's real easy to cancel yeah. Joss Whedon after Justice League. Yeah. But yeah. would you have canceled him after Avengers? Nah. They yeah. It's easy to cancel him after Age of Ultron. Would they you would. have canceled him after Avengers? Nah. Yeah, see, see, that's what I mean. It's like those type of people. Sometimes yeah. they got like you know skeletons, and they they not the greatest people, but they they know how to do what they they know do. how to do what they got to do, this, bro. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. This, like this cat, he wrote he wrote the whole the whole season. Or yeah, this, this that's all. It's, he's yeah. the he's the head. He's the showrunner. It's all him. So it's all him as a showrunner. Yeah, man, they yeah. gonna be hurt next season too if you don't. I mean, he, like here's somebody who clearly knew everything about the X Men mm-hmm. and what they do and and mm-hmm. all, all that shit. So it wasn't just bringing in somebody who was going to write a, a, a episode that would grab a lot of attention or whatever. This is somebody who cared. Like, this is a labor of love, clearly, Rogue. for the X-Men. The only so, thing he forgot is Rogue's booty. That's it. 
I mean, yeah, he but forgot considering his, Magneto considering his affiliate. <laughs> yeah, he fucking with the wrong meat. To, uh, yeah, to, to be honest, that's, that's the thing. He, he, he wrong plays meat. for the, yeah, yeah, he play he's kind of playing for the wrong team to be worried about rogue cheeks, bro. That's you know, uh, no, no, you know. I'm just saying. My yeah, business. I mean, meat man, meat man, that's, meat man. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> You know, storm. You know, storm lost her powers, but Rogue lost something too. The, yeah, the they lost something. Yeah. Yo, Remy, Remy made me feel like if anybody's ever and this, this is a reference to a film that I know nobody has seen. There's only a few people who've seen. Uh -oh. If you ever seen Last American Version at the end of that movie, come on, don't do him like that. <laughs> you wrong. Only old hands know that, and you wrong as hell. Yo. At the end that's of that foul. movie, that's last foul. American version ending, bro. Yep. That exactly is hot, bro. They did yeah. Remy dirty, bro. He's been, he been standing by her for years. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Like will it willing to die for that. <laughs> exactly. And they went uh, hit, they went. My hit god, Icebreak Slick, like perfect point. What this goes doing? to show how much you can tell of the X-Men story when a hundred percent of the focus is not just on Wolverine, who I love, but there's True. so much else True. to exactly. Say. Like we all love Wolverine, but True. there's more. It's not just Wolverine. There's so many nah. fucking stories. And oh, you know oh, what? Up, it's crazy because he hardly focused on him at all, bro. Yeah, yeah and I don't feel like, oh man, I wish I would have seen more Wolverine. He got to do some shit. I, I just I've seen so much Wolverine that it's like it's okay. Like let I've never seen a dope Cyclops moment on live action or the cartoons. So I got because I finally it, got even, you. You think about the cartoons back back in the day, like Cyclops, they had him like a like a Boy Scout whiner. He was just type. the butt of every joke. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day, yeah. Yeah, it's so it's, it's really good to see him get his flowers now. And, and you know what's cool? It's like He's always been the the Batman or Captain America for the X Men, like the strategist mm -hmm. and in charge. Mm -hmm. And, and Captain America is a Boy Scout, Superman is a Boy Scout is cool, mm -hmm. but somehow mm -hmm. Cyclops as a Boy Scout is corny. And mm -hmm. here they made him not only like powerful, strong, like dope fighter, all that, but they made him like it, it, they really drove home that he's the leader. Think yeah. about how they didn't really use like a psychopath, uh, telepathic link or anything like that. He's yeah. the only one with comms. Yeah, he's the only one with comms talking yeah, to the team. Yeah, yeah and, you know, to yeah. me, my ex-man, like he's barking out orders and everything like that. Come it's on, like they draw home. Dirty, that's like, the dude. Why are you doing him like that, bro? Remy, stop playing, bro. That's so foul, dog. Like, that's Remy dirty. after. That's dirty. <laughs> that's so dirty, bro. <laughs> bro, y'all gonna do y'all gonna do the blazing case and wrong like that, bro? <laughs> bro, bro, I'd be pissed, bro. Like yeah, straight up, me man. Mm -hmm. So we get we getting the Magneto from Age of Apocalypse. Magneto when he married, he gonna end up marrying. Watch him, mm -hmm. watch him. Yo, if he marry her and have the kid for her too on this series, I'm gonna be yeah, so bro. mad, dog. I'm yeah, so, bro. I'm gonna be so mad, bro. Like. Remy gonna be in the corner like old oh boy, like wow. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like it's it it again, all in all, like I said, so far from what we're seeing just in the very beginning, and I even because Cam he actually saw all three. He said the third episode is even dope wanna, because uh, they got a chance to yeah. see all three of them. So uh, I cannot wait oh, to see yeah, that one. Yeah, bro, yeah, bro, bro, bro like, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing because I got I got I got Remy. And, 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 and shook, they in the corner together. <laughs> in my in my collection right now, it's yeah. it's gonna yeah. get a little uncomfortable as I watch mm -hmm. this. And if they head towards that, yeah. I'm gonna have to change my display. It's you gonna have to, bro. You gonna have to. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta make room got, for a third. You gonna have to, bro. You gotta you gotta, you gotta squeeze Magneto in, bro. Magneto. That house is not the, that mansion is not big enough for fucking three love triangles, bro. Figure it out. Well, Bro. Wolverine, Wolverine, you got you got Wolverine you got to make a, a little bit. You, you got to make a diorama of the streets for Rogue, bro. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Put her out. <laughs> you you, you going to have to, bro. I, I got my Remy. My Remy got his arm around Rogue like <laughs> and then Matt Matt with a bat like, "Yeah, I'm coming." Mm -hmm. Bro. Yeah, yeah, my, Literally. I, bro, my 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 X-Men's display is immaculate. It it always 
it always has been. But again, after after that episode, bro, it's like again, everything is gonna change. It it mm-hmm. it has to change. You don't have a choice. It's gonna change. You know what I mean? But again, bro, the way they are doing this is phenomenal. It is, yeah. it it is it's amazing. It's amazing to see how they're diving into this, how they're doing it. They're doing it in such an amazing way. I just hope that the momentum is there. And yeah. Vinny, I know you said you wanted to talk about, um, you know, live action. You know, what we could possibly, if, 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 yes. if they go down that lane. They won't do it. Um, the, the live action aspect is the only con of the show. Mm-hmm. And, and I couldn't help, despite how excited I was for the show, to feel like this deep part of me just so sad because of of I think how I think Marvel thinks. Mm-hmm. So on one hand, I just I feel like as much as we wanted to see Marvel Studios tackle live action X Men while we watch horrible Fox movie after horrible Fox movie, in my mm-hmm. opinion, some people like some people like the. Vaughn in the first class, like I haven't really liked any of them since the first and somewhat the second. First class, and and, and that was just more because I got to see them on screen. I've never felt like any of them truly were the X Men. They didn't even have their damn costumes. Mm-hmm. But I f- I felt watching this, I felt like imagine if right before, uh, like Secret Wars, like starts filming, we got a Secret Wars animated film that was exactly out of the books. It would just like be a warning, like don't expect this when we make the movie. So I felt like this was like a, a bone thrown to the fans. Like, mm. here's the X Men that you guys are thinking you're gonna get now that we have the rights. Well, mm. this is it. Enjoy it, because when we do it in live action, it ain't gonna be this. That's just this dark, like don't bro, don't don't kill, don't kill my dreams, bro. That's that's, how, that's that's how that's how it feels. That's, That's how, how it but, feels but because it can go right two ways. Vin, here, Vin is right. here we're preparing you for like how cool it could be, or right. this is source material picture perfect. And how often does Marvel Studios do source material never. picture perfect shit anymore? Never. They almost never. Don't. They never. They, never they give do. you. They never. take the titles. They'll take the title right. from right. from a story, but right. then they do their whole spin on it and tell everybody don't read those stories because we don't want to do that. We we want right. people to like watch it and not know what to expect. We're watching this going, oh, that's Trial Magneto, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. They don't like you having that thought when they watch the fi- live action films. They want mm-hmm. to pr- impress you with how their spin of it is going to go. So we might see some cool, you know, action sequences like the Cyclops shit and all that shit. That kind mm-hmm. of shit, yes. But mm-hmm. on a whole, them sticking to what that team dynamic is, who, what the characters are like. Mm-hmm. I'm, I, I'm just afraid of like, why are you giving us this perfect, this you know, representation of what the X Men are right before? She did say that she it's in the window that. of of what we would be getting live action. It just feels like, man, wait, why are y'all giving us this? Because it's almost like, why would you give us this if you were going to do this on screen? Mm. Well, that that's how that's the Marvel that's the Marvel uh, uh, menu. That's how they've been doing it, bro. Look at all the directors in the past what two years, and they all they all they all say, bro, like, oh, we yeah. they, they told us don't read the source material, don't read the comics, yeah. don't watch the movies. Just um, write it yourself. I, I, I feel like this is yeah. I feel like that when they change it up, they they want people to be like, all right, well, at least we had the animated series. Right. Now that's not to say that the way they change it up might still be cool. It's just I think when they change it up, it'll be their version of what the X Men are to them, and it won't be right out of the comics like this is. Like the the, the first half of Marvel, we had it, we were good. Them first, what maybe ten years, or yeah, a couple years of movies, we were good. Then after, I guess the last what six, maybe like five, six, seven movies, or and TV shows, they've been telling these directors don't read the source material, don't read the comics. Use your own interpretation to do your movie. I'm like, how the fuck? How are you going to tell them that this? They're making a superhero film, correct, or a movie. So don't read the source material. Mm-hmm. Don't read the comic. That's some retarded backwards yeah. stuff. I mean, I. They, they I mean, I, hey, trust time, me. I bro. I hope I'm wrong, and and we just get some like this on screen live action with this the same type of of of, of heart. 
And mm-hmm. I just don't know that I, I'm going to expect that. I don't. So that right. way, if I get it, I'll be happy. But I'm so you're going I'm, in with very low expectations. It, so if you're pleasantly start, surprised, you have when to. they it's start different. talking about live action news that they're starting to work on it, I am mm-hmm. I am expecting to to you know see a bunch of shit changed up and, and them have their own their own spin on it. I just feel like they aren't necessarily going to want to do what this is as it embodies the X Men so perfectly. Because part of what I've felt like worried about is there's 20 years of Fox Studios movies where they do so many. Like, think about it. Do you think Marvel Studios is going to get X Men and then go do Dark Phoenix for a fifth time, even though we've never seen them do it right? No, they're going to be like, everybody's seen that. So even though they've done it wrong, they're going to think that no one's going to want to see us do it right because they've already seen it, period. And to the average fan, they're not going to look at the nuance. That yeah. oh, oh okay, but this time they're doing it right. They're gonna look at it as Phoenix again, Apocalypse right. again. Like, right. do we have to go down that avenue again? Right. They're gonna look at like, what Mag- can we do to stray away from it and do something completely right. different? Read Magneto again. Look, Magneto again. Right. Uh, uh, Apocalypse again. Right. right. Well, here's uh, the thing. Again. But like, you know what though? What but could, even what, though we want to see them do that, it though, what could change that though is again the the matter of popular opinion because of the simple fact that. This is getting rave, rave reviews, yeah. mm-hmm. and you have to listen to the fans. And I think that's basically what they did with this: is they listen yes. to the fan. You don't have to go back, and you can go back, pull what we already know, and just make mm-hmm. it better. Just emphasize, and that's what they did. But they see, made the they made the the, the, uh, the animation better. Yeah. The dialogue was better. You've just you've just you know expanded on the story that we already knew and the characters that we love. This is getting more of a reception than the bullshit. They, so right now the fans are really forcing their hands. If you giving, fuck up after this, yeah, you're, then you're not it's giving unforgivable. Them, but see, but see, you're not look, giving them enough credit though. You're assuming that they aren't aware how much the fans want to see the source material on screen. I feel like they know how much the fans want to see the source material on screen. Mm-hmm. It's just. Like we've seen with, I hate to say it, bro, but as we've seen with Warner Brothers for years, we know say. best. We know right. best. Like we want to put do it our way, right. so that way right. when they when they think of these movies, they think of us and not, you know, not Stan and not Claremont and not. Right. We want them to think of what we want them to think of. You know, Whedon instead of you know the. The writers for Age, Age of Ultron. We want them to think of us, not yeah. the the OG writers. Like we wanted to make it ours. We want to think of Russo when we think of Thanos and not Starlin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But see, that's what I, I was trying to say. Like this, the, the way how good this was reminds me of DC animation. DC has been killing them animation for eons now, for years, but they do not take what they did with the animation and put it on film. They just don't, for whatever reason. I don't know what the hell is wrong with them. That's they just don't do it. You now, know what? Marvel and Marvel does this, where this X Men show has been a freaking hot fire as it is right now, and don't transfer this to live action. They're going to do the same thing DC is doing. What I think, I think this is also though, it's a litmus test for. Here's the mm-hmm. thing. Fans, We're not right? you. You can't directly and 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 again. You know, I I hate this. I don't. It's, I don't hate to say it, but it's just the it's the honest to god truth. They can't make this a one on one translation into live action. We already yeah. know that, I, and, and that's I not what I'm what saying. I don't expect this doing. exactly like yeah exactly so this. What they're doing basically is prepping us. For, I think more so they're just getting us ready for the narrative, which again. If you if people take to this and they understand where we're going, once you translate that into uh, to live action, you already know that okay, the X Men has been it's been, and I don't say this in a bad way, and I don't want to use the term, but when you talk about woke, this has been something that's been going on from the very beginning, and they've already implemented that, so it's giving you a better understanding of where they're going with it. So then, once we get it in, into Disney's live action version, Marvel's live action version. You're already prepped and ready. We're going to get it. It's it's not going to be, like I said, a direct copy of what we're getting from 97. 97 is just a continuation of what we got from right. the 95 version. Right. You know what I mean? So that's it's, all it's it is. More, it's more, but here's the thing, like, 
and a lot of people like just have the solely in nineties, but it's not so much that is it's nineties X Men. Like this is more like the the heart of the X Men because the X Men walked this really interesting line of being very politically driven, very serious, very scary, like very traumatic. Like there's mm-hmm. so many mutants whose powers are nowhere near as like amazing genetic super lottery winner like Storm. There's ones that like accidentally kill everybody around them and they can't help it like rogue Mm -hmm. and then and then cheesy like there's goofy cheesy shit like as think about how much we all love cyclops jumping out of that plane now just imagine that in the film him jumping out of plane using lasers to stop standing up and then saying to me my x-men and everybody being back behind them they might think there's no way that they could actually do that without people laughing Mm. I, I I think that that's one of the most iconic scenes in the whole freaking yes, series. But it but it also whole part of why it works episodes. is because it's animation. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. But it's like I, I don't think people are so conflicted when it comes to um how they want to see their characters on film. Now, us four would love that scene in mm-hmm. live action. Yeah. I'm not mm-hmm. a, I'm not even gonna hold it. I'll probably get up in this theater and start screaming, to right. be honest with you. But it's like you got people that complain, like the people that complain about freaking morph and complain about uh um Aurora losing her powers. Like, come on, dog. Like, they're giving you a well-written, well animated, freaking over-the-top story mm-hmm. that we've been begging for since they were what? Damn, X-Men, the original one came out when? Wow, 90 something? 95. 95. Oh, you're talking about the, the the animated, you're talking about the, the live animated. action? Well, I'm talking or about animation. I'm talking about well, the animation is giving us what we wanted for right now, but we want this on screen as live action yeah. too. But people will still complain about that scene that I just said with them when he said to me, "My X Men." People will still complain about that, saying it's it's unrealistic, whatever, whatever. Bro, this is supposed to be the X Men. Yeah. Give him a little leeway to to be imaginative to show you what this will look like live action. Yeah, Stop that's it. About every damn thing, bro. Like, bro, but it, it's it's you're not live, bro. Will we will never stop that crowd, bro? Because again, people are just ungrateful. They're never satisfied. So that's just how it's going to be, especially in fandom, especially when it comes to this IP, when it comes to like just this community. That's how it's going to always be. Like it, love it or not, it's it's how it is. We just got to weed it out and just not give it the focus of retention at all. You know what I mean? But I'm excited. I can't wait to Wednesday, bro. Like, yeah, I cannot boy. wait to Wednesday. Yeah, it's going to be a solid, solid episode. Um, I, Again. Bro, I think I, the best part was I went into it just like, okay, cool. X-Men yep. 90s Me is too. back. And then Me I too. turned it on. I, I wasn't ready for how how fucking rocked I was about to be. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I went yeah. into it with hearing. I went into it just blindly, but I heard all the negative a lot of negative about the more thing and the negative about Aurora and then, and then the negative about this guy being too corny in the lead, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, I turned the show on, dog. And you remember that? Remember that? Um, I don't know if you, you guys are there, but Lyle, you probably remember that that um, commercial where the guy had the RCA stereo in his house. Mm-hmm. He sat down in the chair and he turned it on. Yeah, the old Maxwell cool. ads. Dog. That's how I felt watching that show, bro. Yeah, bro. Hell I sat yeah. In my chair, I turned the TV on, and I was literally blown off the couch, bro. Like, I mean, hell yeah, hell yeah, them bro. Two it was. Episodes, and then the the, the, the end of the second episode, I'm bro. The end, the ending was just bro. like icing on the cake. As soon as I saw Gene show up at that door, I was like, I, I knew it. I knew I it. Like, wow. I knew it. And they're this going down this route. The way she the whole two steps, yeah, the whole two bro. Shows. Yeah, bro. Now, here's the thing. You see how they played it, though, because they played it totally different mm-hmm. because now mm-hmm. now in the books, the interpretation was totally different because at yeah. that time, her and Scott had already gone. They had left. Yeah. Yeah, and when exactly. he found out that the only way that they found out Jean was alive was through the Fantastic Four, that she yeah. was in a cocoon. Yeah. You know what I mean? So once he found mm. out that she was alive, he was a deadbeat dad. He yeah. left Madeline Pryor and his son. Yeah. You know what I mean? And didn't tell her that's where he was going, bro. Didn't tell her. Right. Didn't tell her. So 
They're now in the '95. They're like, yeah, we got to mind. We in '97. We got to modify that. We we'll have both them dead. at the mansion and have yeah. them show have her show up because we, we ain't gonna turn him into no deadbeat dad. Then you are gonna have a whole community right. latching out. Make him a deadbeat dad. I'm yeah, crazy. so they definitely did it a different way. They yeah. they did it a different way. Bro, so they I was turned happy it into about a that. Jerry Springer episode at the end, though. Yeah, <laughs> right. right. It would have been, bro. It would have been straight Jerry Springer episode that second that second show. And then hell yeah, it. bro. Hell yeah. Anyway, can't wait to Wednesday, man. The Cyclops it's- can't even lie. That's not his baby. All his baby got to do is open his eyes. So- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, yep. that's my guy. <laughs> and they already told you. They named him Nathan. I was like, yep, this is where we're oh, going. So it's going to be X-Men yeah. and not Cable? Yeah. Nah, they, they, they do what, it. They, if they do it, they're not going to do it, oh. though. They named him Nathan, yeah. but it's still going to be Cable, bro. Oh, I thought it was gonna be uh, X Men. No, it, no it, not Nate. It'll, it'll be not Nate. not yeah, not yeah. X Men, bro. Not, not, not X Men. Yeah. Oh, it'll be it'll be K. Bro, if they would have yeah. had, I thought he was gonna be. I think it's gonna it's gonna be X Men. Nah, and not, and not it's gonna be Nathan Day Spring, bro. Because oh, they, 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 yeah, they know they know more people know Cable than X Men. Yeah, yeah, they already know the that. X Men is an uh, absolute. You can't even. He's too op. Yeah, Two OP yeah, to bring him in a lot into to, to, to the thing, animation, bro. Exactly, and, and that's the issue they'll, they'll have too. I, all I know is like Scott and Gene, man, they kids. Jeez, yeah, oh, that, they, they they, kids are OP. The OP ass kids, man. Yep. Like, keep yep. Magneto should be giving them condoms. Shit, <laughs> them too, right? They should not right. Be no kids, boy. Anyway. Man. Can't wait for Wednesday. Can't wait for this Wednesday's episode, man. Tune in. Definitely a good show. I got to no dip doubt. out because, like I said, I got to get to bed early tonight and get up What's and it? everything. Thank y'all guys for coming. We will be back next Monday to finish off and talk about this again. Uh, the, you know, the next episode. I like it now that we got weekly episodes that we can come back and talk yes. about. Um, and just bro, it's popping. Animation is too, crazy bro. right now. Yeah, yeah. Bad, bad Batch in too. Bad, 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 bad Batch. Bad I'm Batch. Throw in, uh, Invincible. 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 Exactly. So yeah. definitely, because I haven't watched it yet. Okay. So I'm gonna watch it probably within the next couple of days because I just the thing is two, I, I, two new Invincible ex- two new episodes. yeah so I didn't I watch, watch it because me and right. I was binging I binged the whole uh uh, uh three body problems this whole weekend so I was I basically, still see that yeah yeah bro it's I'll so watch dope the first episode I'm trying to get yeah. into it bro bro yeah. you gotta keep watching. Yeah, yeah, watching. I'm I'm on that this Keep weekend watching. when I get some more time for sure. Better after the second yeah, episode. yeah, same, because same. it's based on three books. This is only the first book, and it goes into the second book a little bit. Yeah. But you got to okay. keep watching it. It's it's dope. It's it's def- it? because it's it's the same. It's from um what is it? Benny Off and Weiss from um uh uh uh, uh Lord. Of, I mean, I'm Game of Thrones. Game yeah. Of Thrones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and it's the same field. It, it's it's yeah. it's dope. You got to watch it. You gotta definitely yeah, watch. watching it. Right. And if y'all ain't watching, uh, get up on Shogun too. Shogun's been fired. Shogun's dope as well. Did Bad in, Batch. Did can't it wait end for... today? Huh? Is it, uh, it, is, what's the season finale or series or whatever? Fuck. I, Shogun. I don't know. I, th- I don't know how many more episodes it's supposed to be. I just been you watching as a I'm, I'm just stat- I'm yeah, letting it stack, bro. Yeah. Let me know when that's over. With. I'm sure you guys will. I can watch yeah. it because it's gonna be dope, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely gonna be dope. Anyway, Vinny, what you got coming up, man? What you got going on, bro? Just besides the room. Yeah, oh, that's that's twenty four seven. Um, just keep more projects under the belt. I've been uh, organizing some comics. I got a lot of reading to catch up on. I I, I kind of been slacking this uh, this winter and didn't catch up on as much. But got a lot more art projects on the way. I uh, got a show in May that I'm preparing for. So more prints getting together for that. More pieces together for that. And just there's a lot like I like everybody's been talking about between Shogun and X Men and Invincible and. I still gotta get uh, catch up on Bad Batch and like there's so much, so much to check oh. out. Yeah, so I, I'm you know just trying to keep up with everything and you know just get back here every single Monday to you know talk to you fine gentlemen about all, all this shit that we love so much. Hell yeah, man! Thank yes, you for sir. being here as always. Remember Vincent Dunn Art. Link to his his uh, store is in Instagram. Make sure that you do that. Um, as always, uh, Jedi Pimp. Uh, yes, besides the simple fact the locking your door is trying to keep uh, 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 Diddy from trying to knock and, and crash his crib. Yo, this boy pacing it. He was pacing at the airport earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take that. Yeah. Take that. They got that man crying. Yeah. Take that. Oh, so wait, wait, wait. So they called him? Yeah, yeah no, they got I him at the airport. Video at the airport. He no, like, that's the airport. TMZ stuff I was saying earlier. Yeah. Backstage. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The yep. Oh, they, okay, so they got him. There you go. Yeah. So here um, we go. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I'm just working on the room here. I don't know if you can see, but I'm working on a little project down there with the 
Word. There you go. Yeah, Joe stuff. Putting that together. That nice. Where? So, um, other than that, man, this little project in the room I'm doing. I got another arcade coming soon, and that's it, man. Nice. Yes, sir. Say word, bro. Thanks for being here as always. So, Berticus, what you got going on, brother? And shout out to my man, Black John Wick, down there. Uh, my <laughs> man, of course, always a pleasure to be with my, my brothers here on the panel. No of course, doubt. Um, enjoying mm-hmm. the enjoyed the talks we had uh, tonight, for sure. Mm-hmm. Very, very mm-hmm. excited about X-Men. But, man, like I said, just started a new job. So just kind of getting used to the new schedule. And yeah, yeah. All the stuff they want you to do to clock in and clock out <laughs> and... Me to take meal and all you know, all that stuff. So just getting used to all you're gonna that. be dunking on some kids. Yeah, <laughs> I might. I just might. I'm gonna have to Crazy. talk to my manager when I get to because you know, it, it, hey, it's it's humbling, it's it's development, yeah. You know? Word, word. I got dunked on, so y'all gotta get dunked on too. You gotta show on the way, you gotta show on the way, bro. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's crazy. So, that's and right of passage, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. A passage. Yep. Yo, yes, Godzilla yes. comes out this week too. Godzilla. Yeah. yeah. Godzilla. Godzilla X Kong. So that's X-Kong. this week too. So, so that's oh, this week. yeah. Yeah. yeah I might, I might, I might up on be me. seeing that. I think yeah, that crept up on me. Yeah. yeah. Oh snap! Yep. Oh, I gotta get tickets then. Yeah, bro. Definitely. Yep. I'm gonna have to get huh? the uh, Star Wars. In a couple months is coming back to. Oh the yeah, theaters. Phantom Menace is going to be in the theaters again. Yeah, but we got to figure it, out what we're doing about that. Is it all at once in one day, or is it like are they well, breaking it up? Yeah, well, the day, Phantom right? Menace is separate. So the Phantom Menace is basically this this the Skywalker. Uh, so, well, so they're doing a the Skywalker, Skywalker saga, saga. Yeah, yeah. and okay. I think they're doing like four, five, six, seven, and eight. I believe it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think right. Okay. But then yeah, they're doing Phantom Menace in a theater on its own. For the anniversary, but Clone, but Clone oh, Wars okay. and Revenge of the Sith, Revenge of the Sith is going to be with the Clone, the Star Wars saga. That I Menace think, I th- yeah, 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 yeah. It is, it is, so, it so is. The, it'll be two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hmm. yeah. So <laughs> I don't right. know. We gotta yeah. see how that's going to go, bro. Because if they're doing it like that, but I know Phantom Menace is coming okay. to theaters as well. So that's you know they're doing, they're stacking for that, man. And then to end, everybody out there who's attending. Uh, Star Wars celebration in Japan. The tickets drop in May, so whew, I'm still hurt over that, bro. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, know. I, a- Raimi yeah. trilogy is also coming back to theaters. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I, I'm, yeah. Trying to, I'm trying to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get me some. T- I already saw the second one. I'm I'm not spending money on the third one, but I will yeah. go see the first one. I don't think we saw the first one in theaters when I was a kid. So okay, I think yeah. I'm gonna take my folks to go see that one. That's what's word, up. word, word. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Again, we got Say What Wednesday. We got Figure Flex Friday. We also have the um, 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 Collector's Therapy coming up. Um, so definitely uh, shout out to everybody in attendance. Lumi's out there on Box Watch. Uh, yeah, I got my, my – I just put up my, my – I put up another garage shelf <laughs> today, bro. Painted over the weekend. I got the shelf up you finally. All I got to do is, is it? it's black. So I, I, it's the same thing, just like everything else. I always basically put the borders on and I paint everything black and then I put the lighting in. So I'm about to oh, put the lighting the in. Black. Oh. Yeah, everything's black. Um, but then I'm going to actually add the um, the lighting. So I'm going to do that, you know, probably tomorrow. Yo, get that lighting that they, that come with that damn. Um, oh, my God. What's the one that made the, the module case? <laughs> The lights, they not bad, dog. I got I got them off of Amazon. I bought three boxes. Of Bro, I'm I'm liking what I see out of they little they little detoff unit. I'm I'm liking. You talking about uh, uh my, what is it Maju Space? Yes. Bro. Yeah, my, they look. I don't. How much is hey. how much they want for that? Something. I think that. I think it's uh, it's about. It's a stack. Well, two bones of forty. Uh, I think it's two forty. 240. Yeah, nah. Yeah, uh, the detox, detox. Yeah, the detox. But I, they're I'll a little rock. bit more expensive than the. Than the you mean than detox the IDs? They're, it's it's sort of like it's their own version of a detox. Though. Oh, the yeah. IKEA. Oh, it's the, IKEA. Is it? Is it? No, it's Mod, it's Maju like case or Maju space. Hold they on, made their on. own detox like thing. Let me see yeah. that real quick. Hold on. Yeah, hold I, on. yeah, I think yeah, it's it's literally on the front page of their site. Because I know the ones that the ones that. This, this garage joint that me and, and like I got, 
they got one like that, but theirs is freaking. Is is the Magic Case Detox like a solid basis instead of glass for bases? Um, this yeah. one I think it's a solid base here, and it's a there it is. This one. Oh, that's a damn detail. Yeah, that's it's called the mono coming soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. it looks yeah. less fragile though. Well, they're yeah. doing that now because of freaking IKEA changed theirs up to some bull, some BS they got now. It's trash. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you already black know. Black trash they got at IKEA now. Is blah, 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 yeah, something, I don't know. Something that is something like that. How much something. that don't call? What uh it doesn't say it just says coming soon. So I don't uh, know. McKinley, yeah, he says uh two forty, two fifty, I think, plus bro, these uh, behind me was all sixty dollars a piece. Sixty bucks a piece plus the lights was like twenty. So what? seventy bucks all together I paid for mine. For the lights. Well, Dog, oh, that no, was no, never no, a no, fucking no. reality for me. You know how much they were when I started? They were no. fucking hundred dollars. What the oh, module no. cases? The yeah. detox. What oh, the detox? Shit, they were like 50, 56. I that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, fifty nine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm reading it. There's us, right? There's us right? that first, collect them in, them. Yeah. and then there's people who like do like terrariums and and and, yeah, and no, fucking plants and shit yeah, no. like that in those. So like, we're not the only crowd of people who like to buy detox. But we fucked it up for them, though. (laughs) We fucked it up for them, bro, because we would go and and put slabs in your car, bro. You would get like five or six slabs. Why do you think I got so many in this damn room, bro? Hell yeah. (laughs) Leo was like, run it up. Run it up. Oh, yeah. Bro, we used to travel. We either go to Baltimore or Philadelphia. As soon as we get there, open up the Jeep, start stuffing. Let's well, the go. Philly, Let's the go. Philly one is over there by, it's by the, um, it's by the There'd be little old ladies who want to put their knickknacks on the shelf. Like, where are all the details? Right. I bought them all. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you see me sliding through on the car, just swinging like that. I, wanna, yeah, yeah, I yeah. wanted to display my precious moments. Well, Hell, yeah. Too damn bad, Grandma. <laughs> I'm the mine feds right got now. Diddy. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Oh, they did yeah. get him now. They did get yeah, him. Yeah, the feds got him, bro. It's bad a wrap. For life. Yeah, it's a wrap. He going to be there with him. I did lie and say he flew out the country already. He tried to. He tried to. Yeah. He's trying to get to that island. Yeah, he tried to, but the feds got him. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm a, yeah, I'm a, well, I'm a go check it out. Just do some research. Anyway, thank you guys out there for being here with us tonight, man. Great show. Until next week, we love y'all. We'll see you again. We are out. Peace. Can I get to the yams? <laughs> Sweet yams. Yeah. Take it, take it. Come on, be playing. This cat is stressing, dog. Who, Puff? Uh, uh, yeah, they show. Hold on, the camera is still saying uh, we live. Bro, I don't know if you can see it. We are live. We out now. Peace.